Welcome to the third video in this series. If you're new here, my name is Janos, and with this video, I'm documenting my small channel's journey to monetization, and also, I'm sharing my challenges I had between each episode. I wanted to record this video on my way home, but I forgot to press record when I left from work. So I'm recording now part in front of my house. These last couple of days were pretty good actually for me and since my last episode my channel experienced the biggest growth yet. Since last time I have published two videos. One is about the secret metric in YouTube's new test and compare feature. I made this video because I think there are many new creators out there that are still unaware of this new feature or they are somewhat aware of its existence but they don't want to make an extra one or two thumbnails because they don't think it can make a difference. But if you want to get the most out of your videos, I encourage you to watch it and I will leave a link to it somewhere in the description so if you want to check it out. For the second video, I played a little bit around with AI and made a clip of the most popular Spongebob quotes. If you are also a fan, you can check it out on my channel and also use them in your content by remixing the sounds on your short. I would be curious what you think of it. Regarding my other videos, nothing fancy or viral, but actually my first video just passed 1000 views. This is the one about the Elgato microphone and it's still constantly getting between 15 or 20 views per day. I think it is because the topic is trending now and the video is optimized for search. So I might have made my first evergreen video, but time will tell. Now because this is my best performing video yet, I'm going to double down on this format, and because I have two more microphones that I got for the purpose of this channel, I'm thinking of making a video in the following days about the budget microphone that you can get under $20. I hope it will do as well as the Elgato video, because it still aligns with the niche, and it is the microphone I use with my iPhone in the beginning when I started. Now to get the monetization rolling, I need to join YouTube's partner program. The catch is that it requires me to have 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours over a 12 month period. So if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching and if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing and if you are on a similar journey as me, write me in the comments how was your last week on YouTube. So the last time we left off I had 61 lifetime watch hours and 88 subscribers. The analytics I'm showing you today are from the last 10 days and I'm happy that the numbers went up both for the number of views and also for subscribers because I have passed the milestone of 5000 views on the entire channel and I celebrated my first 100 subscribers. I am usually checking my analytics a lot but I had a very busy couple of days at work so I'm happy to see my small channel growing while I was caught up with other projects. So here are the stats for this week. Between now and my last video, the channel gained over 700 views, which is an increase of almost 64% over the last time. 11 watch time hours, which is about the same, and I gained 12 new subscribers for a total of 100 subscribers. Well, I actually gained 14 new subscribers, but in the same period I lost 2 subscribers. I know it's not much, but I see so many bigger channels that are struggling to grow, or they only managed to have these results in a whole month period. The results for me are mind-blowing, and it gives me a confidence that this could actually work for me. And I also like that all the arrows are up. Now I'm building a list of video titles of videos I want to make and what I think would be useful for small creators. So far the list has already more than 50 titles of video ideas I want to make that I think this niche would benefit from and videos I actually want to make. On the improvement side I'm focusing on improving on my camera confidence skills and repeating a few times what I'm about to say so the content flows more natural. I see this advice a lot given by all the big YouTube content creators that make content around how to grow on the platform but in the same time to publish more often because no matter how many times I rehearse after I publish a video, I always find things that I could have done differently and things I could have improved on. For now, I don't think my past videos completely suck because more experienced creators say that our first 10 to 20 videos will suck. For some creators can even be 50 to 100 videos until they start getting it right. Well, when I go back and watch my first videos, I cannot stop to notice that I have made a few improvements since then and I think they are getting better and better on each upload. 
Regarding the thumbnails, because I got access to the new test and compare feature, I'm now making one or two extra thumbnails so I can test which one is more appropriate for the viewers. This way I can exercise my skills and also to test if at my small channel's level if it is worth it to keep investing into a thumbnail designer. So I'm doing one thumbnail with the designer and one or two thumbnails myself. On the title side, I have made a few tweaks for the videos that are not getting any views. I am not going to be focusing on older content anymore, instead I want to spend more time coming up with better video ideas. For this, I'm not actually using ChatGPT, but a version of ChatGPT called vidIQ. I use it because it integrates into my channel's data and gives me better ideas on what could work for my channel and the niche. I will leave you a link for this tool in the description and also you can check a video tutorial I made on how to use it. So that's it for this week and if you're also on the journey to 1000 subscribers, please consider subscribing and write me in the comments below how are these past days for you and your channel. See you next time. Ciao.